What are holds and what is their purpose? A hold is a clearance assigned by air traffic control to pilots that holds the aircraft at a specific position until cleared for further navigation. Holds are used in the aviation industry for multiple reasons. Traffic congestion, aircraft emergency, equipment outages, waiting for an expect further clearance time, the pilot requires time to make a decision, poor weather, or the unavailability of a runway. A hold consists of the following components. The fix. A holding fix is the location that the pilot is assigned to hold at by air traffic control. The holding fix can be a number of different positions such as a GPS waypoint, VOR, an NDB, a radial DME fix, a specified waypoint, or the present aircraft position using the flight management system. A pilot will be told to fly to the fix and upon reaching the fix, make the appropriate entry to become established on the hold. Turns Standard rate turns are used to transition the holding aircraft between the inbound and outbound legs. A 180 degree standard rate turn takes one minute to complete. A standard holding pattern will have turns to the right. Non-standard holding patterns will have left turns. If the controller does not say the direction of the turns for the hold, it is expected of the pilot to conduct right turns. Legs There are two types of legs in a holding pattern, outbound and inbound. These legs can be timed or measured in distance. Timed holds below 14,000 feet mean sea level utilize one minute legs unless otherwise told by air traffic control. Timed holds above 14,000 feet mean sea level utilize one and a half minute legs unless otherwise told by air traffic control. Measured legs are based on the distance from a fix or nearby navigation station based on the distance measuring equipment. The outbound leg begins after the pilot completes a standard rate turn from the assigned fix and levels the wings or the aircraft is abeam the fix, whichever happens last. A pilot can tell they are abeam the holding fix in a few ways depending on the type of fix. If holding over a VOR or GPS waypoint, the flag flip or to from switch happens on the course deviation indicator or when the distance measuring equipment displays the assigned distance from a navigation aid or waypoint. The inbound leg of a hold begins after the standard rate turn from the outbound leg is completed and the pilot levels the aircraft's wings or the pilot intercepts the inbound course to the fix, whichever happens first. This leg terminates after reaching the holding fix. Holding and non-holding sides of a hold. The holding side of a hold is where the airplane will be during the hold. This gives the plane holding protection from other aircraft that may pass by. The non-holding side, the side opposite the side the hold is being conducted, should not be entered by the holding aircraft. If a holding aircraft enters the non-holding side of the hold, they risk crossing another aircraft's flight path and possible safety risks. There are two types of holds, published and unpublished. Published holds are holds that are depicted on en route charts or instrument approach plates. These holds consist of the following subtypes. En route holds are depicted on the low en route chart in gray and are used when sequencing traffic arriving to airports before joining the approach. Holding in lieu of procedure turn are depicted as a solid bold line on an instrument approach. In practice, holding in lieu is not really a holding pattern, but a method by which to turn around. When assigned a hold in lieu, the maneuver must be completed within the distance specified in the profile view of an instrument approach procedure. Arrival holding patterns are used to control the flow of traffic on an approach. They are depicted as a thin solid line on instrument charts. Arrival holding patterns ensure the airport environment is clear. The arrival holding pattern is not authorized unless assigned by air traffic control. Missed approach holds visually depict holding following the execution of a missed approach. This is where the pilot is expected to hold until further clearance is given. They are depicted as a dashed line on the instrument approach procedure. This pattern is considered the published miss, but many times air traffic control will assign alternate instructions to control traffic flow, especially during practice approaches. 
Unpublished holds are holds assigned by air traffic control at a given fix that is not found on an en route chart or IAP. These holds are often requested by the pilot for practice, but can be assigned by air traffic control to alleviate traffic congestion or sequencing issues along airways or approaching an airport. Pilots are expected to not exceed specific speeds while holding, depending on the altitude assigned by air traffic control in the hold clearance. The pilot must slow the plane down below the maximum allowed speed at least three minutes prior to reaching the holding fix. Here are the speed limits associated with specific altitudes. Holding patterns from 6,001 feet to 14,000 feet may be further restricted to a maximum airspeed of 210 knots, but will be depicted or assigned by air traffic control in the clearance. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.